Hey guys, I'm just going to do a few pH math kind of issues um, just in case you need to hear my voice and you're just missing me. It happens. Um, so on your yellow sheet, um, you've got some formulas, right? So when it comes to doing the pH math, you're going to want to use those formulas. They are important. Now the only one that the pre-AP people give you right, is pH is the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration, right? So with that being your only one from them, that's where I'm going to start. Remember that hydronium ion is often shortened to just hydrogen ion, so I'm going to write that down as well. Because that is really what the H in the pH stands for. So what you're going to find as you um, continue into your science is that little p uh, means the negative log of something. Um, if you go on to take AP Chem, there's pKa's and there's p other things, right? Um, on your Knox County yellow sheet, you get other formulas as well. You get that pH plus pOH, which is the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration, um, will always equal 14. Um, you're given that the pOH is equal to the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. And they also give you one called Kw, think of water, um, which is that the concentration of the hydrogen times the concentration of the hydroxide is 1 times 10 to the negative 14. And we see related there, okay? So given these formulas, we should be able to answer a ton of different questions depending on what the question is being asked, okay? So let's start with simple ones, right? Let's say like, what is the pH of a solution that has, we'll make it nitric acid, okay? That has a concentration of 0.0125 molar, okay? So given the concentration, of that acid, what is its pH? And all you have to do is plug it into your calculator. So the negative log of that number. So I'm going to turn my calculator on. That's exciting. I'm going to type in negative sign. I'm going to hit the word log. And then I'm going to type in my concentration and I get that this has a pH of 1.9. That's a strong acid, okay? But I can ask you other questions. What if I asked you um, to find the hydrogen ion concentration knowing the pH? So let's say that I have a solution of acetic acid or weak acid, right? That's also known as vinegar, right? And let's say I know that the pH of that solution is, let's say, 5.6. What's the hydrogen ion concentration in that acetic acid? Okay, So to find the pH, I have to do the inverse log. Well, if you get confused, look at your log button. And right above that log button, it'll show you that the inverse of a log is 10 to the x power, okay? Because all of these are log base 10. If you haven't had that in your math class yet, um, it's coming, so prepare yourself. So if I know that the pH is 5.6, and that equals the negative log of my hydrogen ion concentration, the first thing I have to do is get rid of that negative sign. So the way you get rid of a negative sign is you flip it to the other side. Multiply by negative 1 on both sides, whatever in your brain helps you. But now to get rid of a log, I have to take 10 to the power of that. That's what gets rid of that log. And so I'm going to type in second log, which is 10 to the power of negative 5.6. And that gives me a really tiny concentration, but when I'm going to put it in scientific notation, it is going to be 2.51 times 10 to the negative 6 molar. That is the concentration of my acetic acid solution, okay? Now let's just do another example, right? 
Let's say I know that I have a solution of sodium hydroxide and it is a, a 4.2 times 10 to the negative 8th molar hydroxide ion concentration. But I really want to know what the pH of that is. So to go from a hydroxide ion concentration to pH is going to be a two-step problem. Okay? And there's different ways I can get there. Okay? I can either um, plug in my hydrogen ion concentration here and just divide it by 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. Um, I could plug it into the negative log to get the pOH and then subtract it from 14. Um, there's multiple things I can do here. This would probably be the easiest because it's only one step, but some of you guys are really bad about dividing with scientific notation. So let's take the cheat way, and we're going to use this formula, the pOH equals the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration first. So if I first do pOH is the negative log of that hydroxide ion concentration, again, don't let these logs scare you. This isn't algebra class, okay? All you have to do is type in the negative sign. You're going to type in the log button. And then you're going to type in 4.2 times 10 to the negative 8. And we get uh, 7.38 as my pOH. But then I know that pH plus the pOH is going to equal 14, which is my pH scale. So all I have to do is subtract over. So 14 minus the 7.38 um, is going to give me 6.62. Okay, So that's going to be my pH of my sodium hydroxide solution. Okay. So that gives you just a few more example problems um, to help you work through some of that math. I hope it helps. See you soon.